Welcome back, everybody. The Grand Tactician, Civil War, Grumpy Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 45 of our Federal Spring of 61 campaign. So, uh, nothing new for the historical record this episode, so we'll go straight into the recap. There's not much to talk about. We had one battle with 4th Corps up at Frederick, which was the 6th Battle of Frederick. With a couple of Rebel Corps trying to push in that we saw fairly easily. And right before that, we had a battle at Marietta with uh, 8th Corps and Reynolds Corps. So the lines are kind of holding stable. Uh, since my little snafu with enlistments, uh, the Rebels are taking back some land, but not much. They haven't pushed too hard, and I'm hoping it continues on that way. It is now March 1st. Some of my troops have started returning, so I'll be back in the next 10 to 13 days, but the majority of my soldiers will not be back until April 1st. And some of them for another half a month after that, but the majority will be back by April 1st in time for the spring offensive. So I'm hoping to start that this episode. So uh, barring the Rebels doing something, which, you know, Rebel AI will, it will tend to do something anyway, uh... I'm hoping to make it to April 1st and get the Spring Offensive started this episode. So, uh, here's hoping. And here I was hoping to have a quiet month of March. Too much to hope for. So, uh, Weizsäger's Corps, Army of the Ohio. Army of Ohio, correction there. With uh, 19,656 infantry, 1,300 cavalry, 48 guns. Is attacking 3rd Corps at Washington, D.C., which currently has 15,079 men with 29 guns. Uh, with 4th Corps, it'll bring us up to 24,870, though the 15,000 I do have present on the field should be more than enough to handle Weisinger. Not exactly the uh, best commander the Rebels have. Though, little, actually it's little, I said Weisinger's Corps, little's in charge of the army. Initiative active, leadership like, administrator, predict. Yeah, we're not going to have any issues with this guy, I don't think. So uh, we're going to go jump into this battle. Welcome, my grunts, to the 17th battle of Washington, D.C. So the rebels are coming in from one location that's down here along Pierce's Mill Road, which is their general entry location for this battlefield. So I'm going to be running the same defense plan as i kind of been doing when we've been fighting in this region. Instead of waiting for them to meet us up here. So I do have the two defense points and I just don't like the terrain there. Uh, I'm going to be sending Cadwallader's 9th Infantry Division down to Blagden's Mill Road to take up blocking positions on the heights right here at my mouse cursor. And I'm going to be sending the 10th Infantry Division... But it's two uh, brigades currently here down to these farm tracks here. Try and take up positions along the fence lines here. And I'm going to be leaving the 11th Infantry Division in reserve as one of their brigades did not come back with any men. It's down to five. The Cleveland Coyotes are down to 572 men. They did not come back with any new recruits. So I'm probably going to have to send them off again. See if we can't pick up somebody. A lot of these brigades are well under strength at this point. And I'm going to be sending the cavalry down around this way just to get to the fence line faster than the infantry can. So they can take these uh, side cuts faster and the infantry can come down the road. That's a very straightforward plan. Try and catch the rebels as they are crossing the stream and uh, hopefully shut them down for the rest of the month. I'll be back once we have uh, contact with the rebels. All right, it's now going on 1545 of day one, and we do have siding on the Rebels. I managed to get the uh, 9th Infantry Division into position well ahead of the Rebels this time. Usually we're catching them uh, back over here. And their cavalry is just now approaching the fort, along with the rest of their main forces. So I have Churchill's Iron and the South Indiana Screaming Eagles covering the fort directly. I have the Grey Death kind of sitting up over here, waiting for the infantry to close in. 
and mass up over here so I can send them forward to the edge of the woods and fire into the group of rebels that are going to be massing over there. I have the Cape Cod Cavalry over here on the fence line to the left with the 10th Infantry Division, which has the Greenskins and East Kentucky Bootleggers moving up in support of them in preparation for a push across the Rebels are not crossed over here, so I'm going to be sending the 10th Division along with the Cavalry across here to attack the Rebels in the rear. So hopefully set up on these heights in the wood, in this uh, copse of woods here and fire into the rear. Looks like I might be able to start handing out those orders pretty soon. I still have some Rebels back there, but it'll take me some time to get across. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to start issuing those orders out. Get out of loose order. Wait for the infantry to get in position because they're moving up here to the edge of the field. So I'll send them across first and the cavalry can cover their flank. They broke their cavalry brigade. So their morale is not. I didn't even look at morale. My dumbass. So what does their morale look like? 40. It is not very good. It's not going to take much for us to uh, smash this core. Or at least break their morale, but not smash them. Looks like the general's riding forward to surrender to us. We just lost sight. He's right in front of us. There we How the hell did we lose sight of a guy who's right in front of us with an entire command staff? I know it's foggy, yeah, but it's not that foggy. As long as our artillery is firing at the great death and not at these guys, I will take that. So Gotta wait for some of these more some more of these brigades to file in over here and then push the great death forward to fire into their flanks. So I've seen the last of their brigades over here. Alright, 10th, let's start pushing you across. And the Corps Commander's with them too, so that's going to make it a lot easier. Cavalry yeah, get mounted. I don't want you going that way. Come up here. Don't want to close that net too soon. I may have to close it sooner than I thought with the way some of these brigades are behaving. Already breaking. Back up to long range and move them up to the edge of the wood here. It looks like we've got them mostly masked up outside of their artillery. I don't know if anybody's wondering what today's battle brew is. Once again, it is the 5 and 69th whiskey. I think we might actually have this uh, cork broken before the uh, my other force gets into position. Right up to the edge of the wood. Nice fire into that massive infantry back there. Good. 
they're crossing which of them new orders. Core Command is right there with them, so they'll get the orders pretty quickly. Great, that's just firing down to this mess. That's gonna cause a lot of casualties to all their brigades. Boys, get across, please. You're gonna miss out on the fun if you don't. Should move them just a little bit sooner. We got a good range fan right there. Move closer. They're just firing at everybody. Actually, just brought me to level two on iron discipline. Very good. Anderson's brigade. We got him at sixteen hundred casualties. They have no cover here, and they're just massed. Yeah, I was already in position. The infantry still is not crossed. Get you guys pushed forward. Let's go. Not the double, please. Close this little trap of ours. Cavalry scoop up whoever starts to retreat past. Ooh, their cavalry is reformed. And we have the charge icon stuck on. Once again, the contact once I'll go away. Hopefully these guys decide to fight us. We can take them down easy. This is just a massacre. That's all this is. This is just a massacre. Turn them over 2,000 casualties. And their cavalry does not want to play with ours. They got longer range weapons than we do. Guys, well, AI is playing the smart with their cavalry. It's interesting. You know what? That's not a good idea either. Let's hold that order. These guys are going to retreat back this way and draw the cavalry in on that crap. I don't need that right now. We're going to have ammo over it. My brigade's already running low on ammo. They've only been firing for an hour. Jeez. Should have had full ammo stocks coming into this. That's taking a, quite a few casualties, but I think it's, most, it's mostly from their artillery. It might be in canister range. But all their guns are facing us, so that's also the thing, too. Anyway, 
what? Rebel Cavalry never likes to fight. Go start chasing these guys down. And they're breaking before my infantry gets into position. Damn it. I am a 13% casualties. I wanted to get it higher than that. Cavalry chasing infantry through the woods is not going to work out too well. Go get him. These Kentucky bootleggers. Know where you're going. Forget that. Just keep coming down the road. Head of the green skin, so keep moving. Yeah, we're getting in on them. Get this mass down here. There we go. That's going to finish them off. The rebels keep attacking here over and over again. We've definitely established the definition of insanity at this point, the way the rebels keep coming at DC. Bootleggers now exhausted. They're not moving at all. It's some bolt orders. And there they go. All right, boys, come on. Keep retreating into my lines. See if we can't get some of these brigades to actually surrender to us. Ooh, Cape Cod's laying down some of these brigades over here. Took, uh, not a casualty there. It looked like one of these brigades surrendered in its entirety. Oh, somebody did. Colston's brigade with 1,200 men surrendered to us. Keep riding them down, boys. You know what? You guys just stay right here in case somebody retreats through you also. Ranch is about to retreat through the green skins. Oh, don't let those boys run past you. Go get them. Churchill, go get them. I'm gonna wrap up as many of these boys as we can. Brigade surrendering. Looks like another one might have surrendered back here. Nope. Maybe. Yep, someone else did surrender. Greer's Brigade with another 2,100 men. Let's see if we can't force Henderson down. And I think the bootleggers are uh, glitched. You let Blanchard go right through you? I told you to charge them. There was another infantry brigade back. There they are. How the hell did they get over there? 
No, they had already retreated past. There was another infantry brigade down here. Where the hell did they go? No clue. Blue Coyotes, you should be fully arrested. Let's go get these guys if we can. I want as many prisoners as we can get. Can we get Henderson? I don't think so. Let's get this up a bit. Calvary's getting exhausted. He's not going to keep up. One of coming back our way, though. Look at Forno. Yeah, it looks like the... Cold Steel Perk is not leveling up again, which it does sometimes. I think that's about all we're going to grab. Let's speed this along. Not too shabby. Nice, quick little battle. So we took down 10,000 of their 20,000 infantry. 150 or 1300 cavalry. Got all 45 guns. Total of 11,000 or 22,000 men. So we just chopped the Army of Ohio in half. At least Weiser's Corps. I don't know if he has another corps in that army. Weiser's Corps has literally been chopped in half. We lost 493 of our. If we had everybody on the field, 24,863 infantry. 21, 21 of our 2600 cavalry. Zero of our guns. Total loss of 514 of our 28,723 men. Damn, what is that, like 220 to 1 on these? What are the odds on? I'm not, I can't, I'm not going to do that math in my head. That is a damn big grab. Save this real fast. So battle saves. Let's go through the paperwork real fast. All right, Cape Cod Cavalry took 2,971 infantry prisoners. 11th Division did not fight. 10th Division, Kentucky Bootleggers took 54 artillery prisoners. Greenskins did 128 to infantry, captured 52. 230 to artillery, captured another 120 for total 532. Division total 586. Ninth Infantry Division, the Great Death did 1,115 to infantry, 2 to cavalry, 245 to artillery for total 1,366. South Indiana Screaming Eagles did 763 to infantry, captured 247. 45 to cavalry, 4 to artillery, captured another 47 for total 1,114. Churchill's Iron did 1,316 to infantry, captured 72, 84 to cavalry, 39 to artillery, another 7 taken prisoner, for total 1,543, division total 4,023. And we won't look at the artillery because they did not even fight. Now let's see what officers we grabbed. Somehow Little, who was riding out in front of our brigades in the crossfire, did not get hit. We killed Gladden, we captured Colston, McNeil, and Greer. Wounded McIntosh. Wounded Munford. And captured Slocum. Yeah, took down seven of their officers. That is a major disaster for the rebels. Major disaster. Let's see you all at the newspaper screen. 
glorious victory at the 17th Battle of Washington, D.C. The Army of Ohio retreating in panic. The Army has reported itself a total casualties of 10,983 men. There are 490 killed, 8,444 captured. Our casualties total 514 men, 109 killed, 81 missing, and the rest are wounded. Captured 8,900 rifles and 26 guns from the field and sent 8,458 soldiers off to our prison camps. And none, none of the, why did the newspaper close? None of the rebels took any blame on that loss, but that was a disaster for them. Let's get that rolled off. That was a disaster. And Evans Corps is coming up right behind them. Were why were they not a part of that battle? Why were they not part of that? They weren't even shown as reinforcements. Huh. That looks like we're getting two battles this episode since that first one was uh, pretty short. This one should be even shorter. They only have 8,500 men, 2,300 cavalry, and nine guns. Woo. Entire corps is the size of a division. Let's jump into it. Welcome, my grunts, to the 18th Battle of Washington, D.C. So, uh, the Rebels are actually coming in along the 7th Street Turnpike from down here, which I haven't had that uh, direction of entry for a while. So, their force is so small that I'm just going to rush out to meet them for the most part. Uh, wow, our morale is actually pretty equals to theirs. Should be higher. We just had a victory, but it's a battle that's back-to-back. -back. We'll probably explain that. So, I'm going to rush my cavalry down. To about here, followed up by the infantry. Because it's already 1630. The day's going to end pretty soon. I want to try and get this over with a day one win. If I can. And it's a light rain, so that's going to slow everything down too. Like I said, I'm going to try and get this over day one. So I'll be back with uh, contact with the rebels. Alright, it's now 1654. We have sighted the Rebel Cavalry, and I've actually been trying to engage them, and they keep withdrawing in front of my cavalry, which is actually drawing us into one of their batteries. So, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. The cavalry don't want to engage. They're not screening their forces at all. It just allows us to get in range of one of their batteries, start bringing that down a little bit. Looks like their infantry is still way back here. My infantry is starting to come up. Their division commander is way behind them. So I did start sending the 10th division down this road here to this crossroads. Because sometimes the rebels do send troops up this way. Though it doesn't look like they're doing that this time around. We're just going to keep pushing them down the road as is. Make sure it is clear. Where the hell is my corps commander? What are you doing back here, Patterson? Get up here. I don't care where the hell uh, Winniefield sits, but you need to be closer to the front. Okay, well, let's start pushing our men forward. There's that battery. Very good. Get mounted, boys. Let's see if we can't ride them down. Go capture me, those boys. Why would you stop? Take them in for cab all those orders to get there. Looks like they're getting there pretty quick, actually. Just saw that rider. Come on, Cape Cod, close on these boys. 
I want them taken prisoner. You know what? You can halt now. We'll keep going. They're right there. We'll run the risk. These brigades don't look like they're willing to fight either. Of course, we stop as soon as we're on top of them. Get dismounted. You know, the sword until the infantry gets here, and they're coming up the road right now. They're actually moving with some alacrity. This is the entirety of the rebels right here. They only have 8,000 men. This is everybody. Boys up in reserve. Tori is not going to be here in time to do anything. Boys, we're going to keep marching around towards the exit point. See if we can't capture anybody who's retreating. Seventeen hundred. We have less than an hour of daylight left. I don't think we're going to get this done today. I would like to, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But they may take an overnight withdrawal, and I don't want to see that. Our morale's improved to 54. Theirs is up to 35. I don't see that battery anymore. Maybe they go recapture them for a second. I guess not. Keep up, men. Don't fall behind. Boys, let's get move it to double. Get into battle line, please. Churchill's iron start pushing forward. How you boys doing? Get in a position, please. Oh, they do not want to fight. What the hell are you boys doing? Move. They're lying down right in front of you. You can't see them? Come on.
Looks like this brigade staying behind to cover everybody else withdrawal. Go oh boys, get out of those goddamn woods. Uh, that's another one of those running battles. Keep jogging, man. We gotta see if we can lock some of these guys into position. Start swinging out towards the road, you boys. You're pissing me off now. They're not going to let us lock them in place. Another division. Still coming around. Still moving up. Are you guys going to fight my cavalry now? Dismount. Loose order. Now they want to fight. Okay. Finally realize I got no place to go. What is he doing? Move at the double. Daniel's Brigade. Now we're getting mounted. Let's charge these boys out. Supreme Eagles get in there too. Go goddamn get them. What are you doing? No, oh, they just withdrew. God damn, it was the end of the day and they withdrew. All right. Not much of a battle, just a skirmish. We lost 38 of our infantry, 115 of our cavalry. We total lost 153 men. We got 350 of their infantry, none of their cavalry, all 10 of their guns. Total loss of 500 of their 11,000 men. I'm not going to look at the paperwork for this one as I am worth it. I'll see you all at the newspaper screen. The victory at the 18th battle or skirmish of Washington, D.C. Evans Corps were treating in panics. And they blamed the loss on a poor old lieutenant colonel. Are you kidding me? And he was killed in action. Huggins was the battery commander of that one battery fort. He was killed in action and also takes the blame for the loss. Are you kidding me? That is Fucking bullshit. Oh, God. I do not like that. All right, the average pro suffered total casualties of 479 then. Uh, there are 55 killed, 226 captured. Our casualties total 153 men with 45 killed and 18 missing. 
We sent 227 soldiers off to our prison camps. All right, let's get that one rolled off. And I just realized we never went over to Monkley's. I'm not going to bother doing that because we're so close to the end game and I, I really don't see a point. Let's take a look at what the hour looks like. National morale of the Confederacy is down to 38. That explains a lot. National support for us is down to 43. There's is down to 43 national support. Is a big reason my troops are going home to collect men and there's nobody to collect. His national support's very low. It shouldn't be, but it is. But that's mostly because we control a lot of Confederate territory. So that drags down our support. This shows you some. I only have 54,000 men in the field right now. To the Rebels, 177,000. This explains their pushes, but they're pushing where I have troops. Two core Washington, D.C. I did not send home. Or I sent home select brigades and they're already back. I didn't send everybody back. But that does explain a lot. Total cash is so far is uh, 154,469 for us to 460,887 for the Rebels. So they are on their last legs. Where's my ironclad fleet? Making its way back to Long Island Sound. Now, I think this is a good place to end this episode. We did not make it to the uh, start of the spring campaign season. But uh, two short battles should be enough for this one. And hopefully uh, next episode we can get the uh, spring offensive started. The map... This one little niche here in the Indian Territory is so pissing me off. This this should have been finished before the winter even set in and we're still there. Ugh. That is pissing me off. We're going we're taking that last fort. I'm hell or high water. We are taking that last fort before this campaign's over. But uh once again, if you're a new viewer, return viewer, if you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so when the next video comes out. Following along with the series, enjoying it. Don't forget to bayonet that like button, but stroke that comment section, get the uh, algorithm working in our favor. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.